what I wanted to do is just a quick uh, NFV 101. So this is an x86 Intel platform. These are individual boxes, so this is hardware. And at the end of the day, for everything that we talk about, everything still relies on hardware. But then what we do with this hardware is we add some kind of hypervisor. And uh, there's many of those. So your hypervisor allows you to manage this and decouple it from hardware. And then we have the different OSs on top of this. So we are going to have individual OSs. And that's what the hypervisor allows us to do. And this can be a Linux. This can be Windows. You know, this can be some kind of uh, VX works. And then on top of this, we have the application. So once we do this, on top, we're able to do what is commonly referred to as network function virtualization. Because the application in this case could be any part of the network. So this app could be uh, a load balancer. So if you have a load balancer, or you have obviously a web server, or you could have a BSS OSS. So you could have your BSS and your OSS. And then you could have your provisioning system here as well. Now, it is now getting to the point, if we keep extending this out, that we are now having uh, VPN applications. And we have router applications. And we have you know, anything that's part of the network, literally soft switches. So we have soft switches. Everything that used to be a box, everything that used to be provided by an independent vendor, the integration was a nightmare. Because now you had to deal with so many different. But now, for example, with OpenStack or with any other one of the open source systems out there, all the communication is being handled through XML, through an API. And that is where the beauty and the migration is happening because now we have APIs and this is where all the developers are focusing on now because we know that the API is king because if you develop a good API, then you can use it for anything. So this is the basics of network function virtualization. It is taking what used to be a lot of different boxes from a lot of many vendors requiring literally in a large network like where we have in, in uh, NetAmerica, uh, millions of dollars to integrate. I mean, the cost of the hardware is really irrelevant almost because the integration costs are so high. So this is what we're doing with network function virtualization. Right now, many of these are in private clouds but there's definitely operations that are moving over to the public cloud. So when you move to the public cloud, then you have uh, vendors that are doing some cost per CPU that are so cost effective that it's what attracts people like me who are looking to scale and reduce cost and make the market go faster because we have to deliver products quicker. NFE 101.